James here with DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little unboxing of something that may or not, may not be released by the time this video comes out. This is supposed to come out by the end of March. I'm not even sure if I have permission to release this yet, so we're going to go with it and say, hey, I'm releasing it. This is Avir Media's new game capture system. This is their Live Gamer HD2. This is a PCIe slot plug-in style. Um, as you can see, the box is black and blue, if that gives you any clue. Most of their items are black and red. Um, a lot of them are. I've done a couple other items for you guys before. So they're stepping out of their comfort zone, I'm sure. If you can see the blue on this, this is the blue. That gives you a hint that it's actually a different color. Now on here it says ready to play ready to play PCIe game capture card at 1080p at 60 frames per second. On the back it gives you some of the other stuff like you know the 1080p uncompromised video like I just said. Ready to play, no driver installation needed. Zero lag pass through, so that means you can plug in HDMI to HDMI or use your consoles while it's plugged into your computer. This will have to plug into a computer to work, so no matter what you're doing, you're going to have to have it in the computer. Um, robust uh, MJPEG uh, compressions, you know, video scaler support. This is does use their rec or a recentral stream um, software, so um, they have a new one out for this. I think it's three point something. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to get more into that when I do the software install. I have their three point something software right now. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's been a, uh, about a month since I've used it. But I'll be reinstalling it with the newer drivers because they said they have newer drivers for this. But we'll get more into that. Um, right down here, some of their specifications like, you know, interfaces PCIe Express, you know, by one, generation two. H, it's got H input HDMI. It's also got 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. H outputs, you know, HDMI too. So you have all that. Let's pop her open. Like I said, this is the beta version of this. I'm told. We're gonna try and get through this plastic with the knife. As you can see, this is freshly wrapped. We'll get rid of this plastic over here. This says the yellow tag recording protective HD content with a splitter is prohibited by law. So they're telling you not to do that. You can get in trouble. Let's pop it open. I believe we can just slide it out. The inner box does have a mesh. And here's the inner box. It's nice black and blue. I love the coloring. Kind of I uh, wish I had this in my old build. I may put it in the old build because the old build is a black and blue th or black and blue themed with white. But you know some more need help. They got some help hotlines don't you know. But let's pop it open so you guys can see the inside. Right here we have the PCIe capture card itself well, in, the, in the static box. They give you 3.5 millimeter jack. Let's, I'll show you guys that first. So they do come with all the cords that you're going to need. You know, 3.5 to 3.5. Most of you guys have seen those. They do send one HDMI cord. I'll pull that open too. It looks like a decent one. And I'm sure it's not the you know most expensive one out there. But it looks like a decent cord. It's probably, you know, four feet, five feet cord, maybe a little longer. I ain't gonna wrap it, you guys don't need to really see that part. You know, an empty box, like you guys wanna see an empty box. Right here we have the Live Gamer info packet. Some of the info, different languages. You know, the headquarters disclaimer. You know, pretty simple stuff. And then we have the quick guide. Most of you guys know that you're just going to have to plug it in through the PCIe slot on your computer. You're going to have HDMI cords. It shows you the pieces you have. It shows you your slots, like, you know, your HDMI 1, HDMI 2, which is in and out. 
and then you're gonna have your 3.5 and 3.5 for in and out audio it shows you how to plug it in if you guys can see this one you know two three four and five they say one is the PCIe slot that you're gonna connect this shows you the installation I may or may not do a walkthrough of that I probably will do a walkthrough of the installation on this video so you guys will see that too I'm not going to do a separate video because, you know, what's the point? Pretty much, you know, insert the LG HD2 into the PCIe X1 slot in your PC. Well, hopefully we can fit in the one slot. We may have to go in the second slot because my card's rather big. You know, connect your video source, your console or graphics card, another PCIe to the HDMI input. So... I use DisplayPort, so I'm going to have to get another HDMI cord to go from the computer graphics card to the back of the PCIe slot, and then from the PCIe slot of this to the monitor. And then pretty much connect your speakers the same way, so you have sound if you want to record sound. They do say you have to actually connect up the cord, the 3.5mm jack, to get sound in the video recording. If you don't have it, you're not going to capture sound. And then pretty much you add the recentral, which they have the link right here. And that's about it. They have it in Dutch, French, um, is, you know, Espanol, Italian, Portuguese, several other languages. I'm not going to go through them all, but they explain the same thing. Let's pull this out of the static bag so you guys can see this. I'm not sure it's actually blue. I seen the box, so I figured this might be blue. It actually is not blue, it's just straight black. I would have loved to have seen this blue. That would, have made, that would have been really nice. Remember, don't handle the PCIe piece down here. You don't want your oils on it. On the back here, like I said, you have your HDMI output and HDMI input. It's kind of backwards, but hey, whatever. We're not going to complain. You also have your audio in and audio out, but it's a small little device. It's as small as my sound, one of my sound cards pieces. So it's lightweight. You got your black PCB boards. It's got the logos, Avery Media, serial numbers, stuff like that. Um, I'm not actually going to take the shroud off. I guess I could for you guys, but I won't. Not until later. I may do that in the written review because I will do a written review on this. But that's pretty much this. Let me uh, change views. Um, I think I'm going to change views for you guys. I will get the computer up so you guys can see the computer, the install of this in the computer. And then pretty much I'll walk you through the software. So if you guys give me a second, I will uh, get ready to do that. Okay, now that I actually have a screwdriver, I realized before I even pulled it off that it's not this one I'm going to pull off, it's the next one because it was the wrong slot. Good thing I noticed now. You unscrew the one screw that's holding the plate open. Then it should be thumb tight. We should be good. Set that down. Pull the plate out. Now to put this in, like I said, um, you're going to do the mesh down or the mesh wire case down. So the PCIe board up. So we're going to try and slide this in good. It slid in pretty easy. Put your screw back in. You should be able to do it thumb tight. You shouldn't need a screwdriver. And you're installed. Pretty much. And then you go back to the, the frame or your door. We're going to hope I can get the door on the first try. I don't always get it on on the first try on this case for some reason. There we go. Monkey back in. And we're installed. Now, pretty much the rest that goes into this is the cords. You guys can figure that out because you guys are going to be running a different setup. But remember, your HDMI is going to come off your graphics card to the game capture card first. Then it's going to go from the game capture card to your monitor. But uh, I thank you for checking out my little unboxing and how to install the Live Gamer um, 2 HD2, I believe it is. My apologies. 
It's the Live Gamer HD2 into your PC. And um, keep your eyes out. I will do a software walkthrough of the rec center so you guys can see that and how it works. And keep your eyes out for more gameplays captured off this and some written reviews. Thank you.